Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the third part of the CAD app, app uh, video series. And in the last video, we designed a basic structure of our application. And in this video, we will do send the message that will update in the database and also retrieve that message in real time without refreshing the app. So let's get started with this thing. Before going forward, let's create a package and under that create a JavaScript which will hold our all the common basic things which like chat coordinates like for database reference okay Now let's create a on-click listener for this send icon. When user hit on this, we will check that either user uh, added something message or not. If added some message in the edit, te edit text box, then we will send that to the database. We need a document ID for our each and every messages. So for that, we are using the date, current time with seconds. So in that way, we will get the current time and that will be our message ID. Depending on that, we can delete the message in future. Also edit that. So that's why I'm adding this feed field in the database as well. As we are using um, Google sign in to sign in the user, then we have user profile picture, which is used by Google as well. So if user does not have any image in Google, then they will get the names first later as an image. So you, you can get the image like this in this code using this code and it will give you the user profile picture. No need to store it in the database. It will automatically get it from Google. But if you are using any other sign in feature like uh, password and email, then you need to store user image in storage and get the storage reference URL in the database that was needed 
to show the user image in the chat. Now once our hash map is completed, we can uh, send the hash map to the Firebase uh, Firestore using this uh, reference your uh, reference. So that our doc ID and we have to set the hash map and add on on success listener. And once the ta task is completed, we need to uh, clear the edit text and so a message like the message is sent in future we will uh, replace this with push notification and something uh, that will be a later part now let's run this application and let's see our message is storing in the database or not or the code is working or not it crashed uh i think something got okay so why this message uh, is, is this application is crashed because we are using the latest version of android studio and this is targeting to the latest android version so we need to update our gradle file with the latest version of the firebase once we update that gradle file it will work perfectly okay now our firebase dependencies are updated so let's turn it and let's see is it work or not see the message comes up the message sent let's see is it updated in the database or not see the database also getting updated so now the second part is going on how to retrieve this data real time in the app so let's get started with the recycler view adapter and show it in the ui Before going to the model um, recycler v, uh, adapter, let's create the model first. We need to create all the models, whatever data we are storing in the database. All the data should be in the model. So in that way, we will get all the data in the uh, view holder. Now let's call the database to get the data. Um, creating a new function to make it clear to you guys where is the thing is going on.
Now our query is completed. Let's initialize the recycler view with the ID. And uh, let at us that um, recycler view with a linear layout with a linear layout manager. Actually, we don't need those things. We can all directly call the linear layout manager here and pass the params. Now attach the adapter to the recycler view. Uh, that's it. That's the thing we need in the main activity. Nothing else. And uh, now go to the recycler view um recycle sorry the adapter and uh, let's add the chat id once that is done just we need to set the data to this text view from using the model Our work is done. Let's run it and let's see if chats are coming in the UI or not. Nothing is coming up, but we have two data in the database, so it should come. Let's see. Uh, something is going on. We missed something. And the, that thing is we didn't call the adapter to be notified. So add this line adapter dot uh, notify changes and add it in the on start, on start method as well. So whenever the UI starts, it automatically calls this adapter to get the latest data from the database. Let's turn it and let's see. Is it see the data is coming up? Now let's add something and send. See the data is coming up in a real real time without refreshing the UI. Let's add the image to this. And let's see that image is coming from the Google or not because we didn't store any image from for our user it is coming it will come from the from Google okay so actually we need glide for uh, showing the UI showing the image to the UI it help us to render the UI If you guys need the source code that is already present in the description URL, you guys can get it from the GitHub. Uh, there will be a part wise part GitHub um, uh, repositories. You can get it easily. Now let's run the application and let's see how the image look like in the UI. See, the image is coming from the Google account. This image is stored in my Google account. That's why it is coming up. That's so easy. Thanks for watching this video. Uh, if you guys like this video, give it a like, share this video with your friends, subscribe for the next part, and I will meet you in the next video.